Hello everybody and welcome. Today I have a video on 5 Monster Hunter Freedom Unite tips for new characters. 1. Farm Power Seeds Early in the game, an easy way to earn Zenny is by farming power seeds. The old lady next to the guild hall, also known as the Granny Peddler, has a chance of selling power seeds. Check her inventory to see if she has any. If she is not selling power seeds, go on a quest and check back afterwards. As soon as you have a power seed, plant it at the farm and be sure to fertilize it. After each quest, be sure to check your farm and replant your power seeds, taking one power seed per field row. With all the extra power seeds you have, you can sell those right away for profit. If the player is fertilizing their field and they have three rows, they can get up to 3,000 zenny after each quest. 2. Gather all the dung. Wavering droppings and dung are among the most valuable resources in Monster Hunter Freedom Unite. These items are fertilizers. One wavering dropping can fertilize all three rows on the farm, while dung can fertilize one row per dung. These incredibly useful items can be gathered in three locations early in the game. These locations are the jungle, desert, as well as the forest and hills. In the northwest corner of area 8 at the jungle location, you can find a pile of wavering droppings. This is the only spot you can gather dung in the jungle. Moving on to the desert, in the area 4, in the southeastern part of the area, lies the next pile of dung. Heading over to area 10, right before you go to area 5, you will find the second pile of dung in the desert. Finally, at the forest and hills, area 1, right as you walk around the bend, drop off the ledge and you'll find a freshly dropped dung pile. The last pile of dung you can find early on is in Area 5. This dung pile, however, may be guarded by the King of Skies himself, Rathalos. 3. Sell all weapons and armor to fully upgrade the first heavy bow gun. One strategy in the very beginning is if you sell all your weapons and armor except the heavy bow gun, You'll be able to afford all the upgrades for the heavy bow gun as well as the power barrel. This gun is known as the Bone Shooter. The Bone Shooter can take you from some of the very beginning quests all the way to the last quests in low rank. But I would recommend upgrading your heavy bow gun before fighting Shin Garin. A few upsides of this heavy bow gun is that it shoots fire ammo and is very good for early monsters in the snowy mountains, or anything else weak to fire. Another upside to this heavy bow gun is that it can shoot poison as well as sleep shot. 4. Mine in the Swamp at HR1 Most players probably start their playthroughs of Monster Hunter Freedom Unite by doing village quests. Doing so progresses the main story and unlocks more farm upgrades, armor, equipment, etc. The only thing is, is that it takes until 3 star quests to go to the swamp location. The player actually has access to the swamp right away if they just go to the guild hall and embark on a 3 star quest there. At the swamp, in areas 3 and 9, the player can see ginormous crystal formations, and upon mining these they have a rare chance to obtain the item known as Light Crystal. Although there aren't any gathering quests in the swamp available right away, you can go on a hunting quest with Kutku, Buldrum, or Kangala, mine, and then either try and finish the quest or cart three times, but you'll still get everything you mind even if you lose. 5. Go for Crystal Hammer early. The Crystal Hammer is an extremely powerful weapon early on. The only thing is you'll need 2 Light Crystal, 25 Iron Ore, 7 Ice Crystals, and 10 Carpenter Bugs to make it. With this hammer, you can clear most quests in under 10 minutes, and it can be easily upgraded once you've unlocked the Volcano location. 
upgrading it may be tedious because you'll need three more light crystal, two rainbow ore found in area eight of the volcano, and 10 more ice crystals. But we'll take it from 676 attack to 780 attack. This upgrade should be able to take the player all the way to high rank. If you made it this far in the video, I just wanted to say thank you and leave a comment on any tips you have for new characters in Monster Hunter Freedom Unite.